go. Bongo, 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 I don't want to leave the Congo. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, so, uh, hi, I'm Troublemaker, and this is Civ 5. And, uh, it's your boy Bomber here, and I'm playing with Troublemaker for actually the first time here, so hopefully we are a dominant team, but who knows? <laughs> yeah, I guess I go first. Is that how this works? I'm so no, we both go at the same time. We go simultaneously. That is weird and crazy. Well, I, I've actually ended up getting a pretty damn good uh, feel here. I have uh, a river, uh, three planes, and... Uh, oh, Marvel's not that good. Never mind. Mostly good. I, I have some luxury resources, but I'm going to move towards the... Uh, mountain here because i think late game the observatory is going to pay off the two turns that i have to wait so i'll do that and i'll take a look at your thing here hmm. okay not bad and i've chosen ethiopia if you haven't noticed by now um mainly because i don't know if i want to play this game as a domination game right now and uh ethiopia is a pretty manageable sieve if you have a low amount of cities and just a very high why well, i like to call it a tall empire where you have tons of good buildings in a couple of cities so that's the type of style i usually play actually uh ethiopia that that their, their perk of course is like they if they have less cities than the person they're attacking or being attacked all their units have a plus ridiculous bonus yeah okay i'm gonna set on my city now you found a natural wonder there uh, yes, I did. Wait, we, we can see each other. Look at that. Oh my god. This is amazing. I get, I get free happiness from you. I think we're on separate continents, Ooh. continents which I just got to say. Yeah, we're going to get clawed apart here. All the while, Mr. Uh, smallest Fortress in the World found Barbarian. Yeah. <laughs> Barbarians, of course, have zero cities, so no bonus there. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of neglecting the defense of my city right now, but I don't think anybody's going to attack, so that's fine. Yeah, I think that's usually how everyone plays. They use their first uh, uh, soldier to kind of grab one, one, uh, one ruin, and then build a scout, yeah, and then head back. That's the classic opener, which is actually funny you mentioned because I've negated that. I've gone with the stell, I, I believe that's how you pronounce it, opening, which is. Now, I wouldn't say unorthodox for uh, Ethiopia because it gives you the faith and I want to get the quick, um, what's it called? It's not a religion, but a uh, pantheon? Pantheon, I guess. I just found Russia. That's... <laughs> I don't know, Russia's a decent Yeah, story. they're not aggressive, which is kind of good. Mm -hmm. Choose a research. What are we going for now? Because we actually, our research points stack. If you go on something and I go on something. Oh, okay. I, I, I've I been going for masonry so that I can grab uh, this uh, marble here. Mm. I have marble as well, so I have a mason. That would be nice. What other other resource do you have here? Uh, it's like you'll double value for masonry. I think it'll be worthwhile for me to grab the... Uh, Plus one faith from Tundra Tiles. Reason, uh, Pantheon, sorry. <laughs> I have an abundance of Tundra, which isn't necessarily a good thing, but... Yes, I believe that is rated the worst possible starter in the game. <laughs> and now I have some desert, too, so... <laughs> That's okay. It's a decent start. The production will be high, but the... Uh, might have to sacrifice some food there, which is... A little worrisome. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I already have my Pantheon. That worked perfectly. So I'm pretty sure that's the first Pantheon in the game. Plus one face from Tundra Tiles without forest we will go for, and that will give us immediately uh, zero, but it'll give us one, two, three, four, five, maybe up to like seven later. Seven face per turn isn't bad. So that's a decent start for us. Okay. It's looking like I'm going to have to expand to the north because I'm going to go with tradition just because it stacks with the plan I was talking about, the uh, building very tall. 
You could be uh you could be on that island by yourself. <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. Because I had another person right next to me. Looks like might be China. Who is it? Tim. Let me see. Um. Let me see if I can call it. I'm gonna say Maria Teresa. Yes. Gonna call, but I'm not entirely sure. Worker. Okay, you don't actually get a free worker from the tradition route, so I will try to build myself a worker. Okay, and so what are you going for next? Pottery or? Oh yeah, it doesn't. It's weird. It didn't actually notify me that we finished. So, um, I my usual opener is the Great Library, but we're playing on a higher difficulty, and the civs get free text. The AI, sorry, not the civs. The AIs get free text, um, which includes writing at the start, I believe. So I doubt I'm going to get Great Library. So that being said, um, there's something to be said for animal husbandry, which reveals horses, but. Pottery is still a decent choice, especially if you want to get a pantheon, if you're interested in that. Yeah, we'll go pottery. Okay. Then we'll get... I think... Uh, is this Austria? Oh my god. Was I... Oh, I found the next guy. Was I right? Maria. Maria the Austrian, yes. Oh, buddy. Oh, what the... They're coming hard at Addis Ababa. <laughs> How's the barbarians? <laughs> ah, I see you found the radio. Istanbul, come help me. <laughs> um, I actually don't want to give him a uh, embassy right now. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember. Do you remember what um, Arabia? I want to say. I mean, I don't. I don't think that's Arabia. Actually, what is it? Um. Anyways, do you remember what they um are like for aggression? Because oh, sorry, that's the Ottomans, right? I think they're like. Science and money oriented are their strengths. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, well, that would make sense. There's a barbarian encampment right there. So, And this is actually a really interesting landscape. Is this a lake or is this just really low tide? Because I did set the oceans to be extremely low. Hmm. There's something to be said about going for the aristocracy, picking up the 15% production bonus for wonders, and hooking up marble, which would give us an insane ability, but I'm pretty sure we're going to have another Pantheon by the time. I'm just going to take Oligarchy. It's a decent. Give us some money early. Not bad. God, you were just plowing through those policies, aren't you? I'm still ready to get my first one. Yeah, okay. The shtel is kind of OP at the start. <laughs> two Faith, and I want to... I'll look it, but I'm pretty sure it's Two Faith and Two Culture. Which is good. <laughs> One of my favorite specials. The shtel is plus two, yeah, plus, plus two culture and plus two faith. Oh my god. The barbs are not letting up. But that's okay, because I don't actually have anything right now, so. Go ahead. It's basically free experience. Yeah, that's uh, like a... When I was looking at the uh, immortal strategies for uh, an immortal win, uh... They all recommended going to war with city states, just oh, so you can yeah. get XP, and then you know you get automatic peace of them, of course. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so where shall we go with technology from here? Okay, let me check. Writing. We finished writing. Um, hmm. I'm usually for going to the next era because it reduces the cost, but I'm not convinced drama and poetry is a strong choice. Um. I don't. I'm that, that being said, I'm not in dire need for anything else. Um, we could try either animal husbandry or bronze working, because frankly, I'm not in a crazy need for archers right okay, now. Okay, animal husbandry. It's a new income source. I am. I'm completely right. landlocked. I, I believe you are as well. So yeah. I mean, that's an actual trade route. Yeah, actually, I have Istanbul. I could trade with right now. So not bad. Okay, the scout could maybe kill that guy. No. <laughs> hmm. What is my city working? Wow, 
okay. Well, my city is actually the complete opposite of what I guessed. I guessed that it had lots of production and zero food. Oh, I don't have yield icons on. Jeez. Okay. I'll have that on for the next couple of turns, but I'll turn them off later because they get annoying. Yeah. Well, at least you're getting XP out of this uh, ridiculous barbarian invasion that you've been uh, handling. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to lose any units, which is nice. I've had way worse outcomes. Just realized that. Why is that? I, I keep getting a thing where I click on next turn and it says waiting for players, and then it makes me click next turn again, but it doesn't actually change the turn. If you go and uh, check things, like if you check the tech or something, it thinks you want to change something, so it doesn't. So it un next turns. <laughs> like if you click next turn and then I click my city, it'll it'll unactivate it, deactivate certain when I die. Why are they attacking the city? They're suiciding in the city. Yeah, that's actually not how barbarians work. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Oh, yeah, that XP, though. Okay. Hmm, I'm excited to get my worker out, because we actually have some decent tiles. You have decent tiles? What? I thought it was all Tundra. Well, okay, the occasional decent tile. There's a couple in there. <laughs> Among the arid, disgusting rock and desert, there are a few beautiful gems. Okay, I'm moving my worker. Oh, my scout got an upgrade. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go visibility range, because we actually are going to use them for scouting later once we get out of this mess. And actually, that visibility range uh, is really crazy cool. If you can find a um, uh, a ruin that will upgrade him to archer, he will gain that benefit and gain a plus one range advantage always. Oh. It's, I don't know how I, I found that out, but it's true. I've only had um, plus one range on a Gatling gun one time because it was in a city that was constantly getting attacked. It was pretty BK. <laughs> I felt like it was really good artillery. Okay. So we're done. What were we? What did we just finish? Animal husbandry. Okay, so I can probably work on a trade route soon. But what would be the next step? I'm assuming I have iron just because of the amount of hills and um, tundra I have. But that's just from my experience in the game. I'm not sure that actually has anything to do with the mechanics. I've just noticed there is usually iron and tundra. Oh, there also happens to be, yeah, in a, a desert from time to time as well. Yeah. Uh, okay, bronze working it is. Okay. I'm pretty sure late game I'm going to have lots of uranium. <laughs> Which is, depending on the strategy, I mean, I guess it's always a good thing. Having lots of uranium, you can either build plants or you can build nukes. I think for regardless of whether you're going to actually use the nuke it's good to have it because people will be very very hesitant to declare war on somebody who has a bunch of nukes it's like a cold war in the game so i just noticed uh the two people that i discovered are on a team yeah <laughs> oh that's not good no. god there's lots of gems up there man jesus moscow is just chock a block with gems I'm going to heal up my... I'm not sure. Istanbul, is Istanbul on a team? No, Solomon is not on a team. Catherine's... Catherine's not on a team, are they? No. Catherine's not oh, on a team. Oh, I... Wait, where's Kamehameha? Oh, there is another... Okay, yeah, he is. You're right. He is. Uh... He's to the bottom left of your area. I believe. I believe that's him. It might be somebody you haven't met yet, but I believe that's him. And I just don't want to expand. They get angry when you do that. Yeah, I don't. I I honestly am not a huge fan of the you expand too quickly negative, but whatever. I guess the game developers. Oh, nice. Okay, I finished my. Okay, what does it recommend building a quarry? Okay. I guess I'll do that then. Uh, hmm. I could also do the farm. Ah. Uh, well, I'll do the quarry. I think it's gonna be hard to defend the farm. Choose a production. I think quarry is for, for uh, building far, and your farm is for building tall. Agreed. Uh, how, uh, <laughs> but... been explained to in the past. Mm -hmm. 
true i i get it's only like a five turn difference i'll still hook up the farm it's just really far away from my it's like three tiles away and i feel the barbarians are gonna go pillage it right away so oh we actually have okay we have three three no we only have two wheat within range but the granary will still be really useful so i'll go with that and i will provide a free culture building as well which will actually not give us anything right away because we haven't unlocked amphitheater yet but twill eventually hmm. so i think this will be our final turn for the week I actually did a lot better than I thought. I was saying turn 20 be where we got to. We got the turn 22, so that's pretty damn good. Not bad. So, uh, yeah, we'll be doing this uh, every week until we get to turn 400. Or we win the game. Hopefully we win the game before 400. On quick watch, it's a little long. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next week with a continuation of the, uh, the, the Polish-Ethiopian Alliance. Ethiopian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys. Later. Will Bomber get owned by barbarians? Will Tollmaker get pushed out by two expansionist civilizations? Find out next week. Same bat time. Same bat channel.